Numbers versus words, round three. Six versus... Went. I chose went because it's an example of a process in language, bear with me because it doesn't sound exciting, but it's <laughs> called suppletion, which is when we don't go with what you would expect, what the standard form of a verb, for example, would be. Uh -huh. And instead of that, we go with something which is not related at all. So go, you would expect goad. Well, you would expect go goes goad, right? Yep. Or he goad mm -hmm. to the shops. Yes. Um, instead, we clearly didn't like that. It survived until Middle English, yod it was then. But we uh, we ditched that in favour of the past tense of wend, which is kind of fossilised in wend one's way, and we don't use it in any other way. But for some strange reason, and no one knows why, we didn't like goad, and we went with went. <laughs> and there's one other example I will give you, is that we don't have good, gooder, goodest. We have good, better, best. That's another example of suppletion. And again, no one knows why. No one knows why we didn't like good or goodest. And it's the same in other languages. So in Latin, you have bonus, melior, optimus as well. They didn't like the comparative of bonus either. Why? I really want to know. <laughs> so if I were to use the word goad, yes. would I technically, could I argue that I was being correct? Oh, yeah, you could totally use it. Okay. Um, it just depends in what context as to whether you get told off or not. But um, <laughs> yeah, again, if enough of, enough of us used it, then it yeah. would be fine and it would eventually replace went. Six is the first perfect number. So okay. we've, we've had sexy primes, we've now got perfect numbers. So a perfect number is where all of the divisors of that number, so its factors, add up to give you exactly the number itself. Two, one and three. Two, one, and three. Okay. So you always exclude six from the process. Yes. So of course you have to, otherwise it's never going to add up to give it itself. Yes. But yeah, excluding the number itself, your factors of six are one, two, and three. One plus two plus three gives you six. The next okay. one would be 28. Okay. So you would have one plus two plus 14, uh, and then plus four plus seven okay. would give you 28. Um, and again, there are an infinite number of these. We can show that mathematically but we don't know very many of them. So they're okay. very, very spread out. So it's like six, 28, the next one is in like the hundreds, the next yeah. one's in like the 10,000s. Yeah, yeah. They're big jumps. And does that them. mean all the other poor numbers are called imperfect or flawed? <laughs> you could call them non-perfect. Non I, I imagine there's probably a, That's a, less judgmental. a whole other definition of what it means to be imperfect. <laughs> so which are you gonna go for? Is it went or is it six? Tell us what you think and we will let you know the results of the poll very soon.